Well, this is Scott Ginkle with another episode of Tuesday Tidbits. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for listening. My topic this week was an inspiration from an article that I had written a while ago about habits. And the title of the article was Habits Aren't Just for Nuns. The idea was that if you can remember back to grade school, if you went to Catholic schools like I did, nuns used to wear a, the long black thing that covered their head and went all the way down to their feet. You kind of wonder what happened to all those. But habits are also very important to business, very important to success, very important to everything we do because there's good habits and there are bad habits. And then there are no habits. No habits are bad habits because they're not really habits. And if you understand habits and you understand the implication they make on whether you're going to do something or not, good habits take effort, they take work, but they have a great payback. As an instructor... I've always said that I would rather have a student that demonstrated the ability to have good habits than a student that had just good technique and no habits at all. Because with good habits, I can teach you technique. With bad habits, I can't really count on anything because you're probably not going to do it. So what's the point? Well, as a successful agent, and I've seen a lot of different ways of being successful, there's usually... A few characteristics that are common from one agent to the next and I'm gonna give you three habits that I think are critical to your success in the real estate business number one I really do believe that you have to make a habit of planning every week you've heard me say it before but successful business people successful salespeople successful agents they don't make it planning something they do once in a while they do it all every every single week a little bit of time Every week, not every month or every couple of months or every couple of years. Make it a habit. And make sure that when you do it, you not only plan the future, but you look at the results of the past. The second habit that I believe is important is a habit of talking to people. I believe that you should spend three hours every week getting good at talking to people, ideally talking to strangers. And call them. Talk to them. Go to the door. Do something, but get good at it. Eventually, if you turn into a habit, you'll learn the skill. Or you'll come to one of my sessions and I'll teach you the skill. But get in the habit of spending three hours every week talking to people. You'll find that you'll get very comfortable doing it and you'll enjoy it. They're nice. They really are. You can learn a lot from them. And the third habit, the habit that I think is important, just like exercising, is to exercise your brain by learning. Whether you come to one of my weekly webinars, you listen to my podcast, or read a book, but exercise your brain every week and learn something. Maybe learn a little bit more about my next topic that you can find at my website. By the way, website is www.howtosellmorehouses.com. Find me on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, all of the above. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, suggestions. This is Scott Kinkle. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope it makes a difference. Happy learning.